Okay, this is the Stingray, the electric Stingray I just got. There's a box. 100 pounds. I had to use my trailer for my bike to get it over here. Because there's no way I'm climbing over them roots of the 100 pound box. But I'm going to sort of open it on camera, but I don't have my tripod right now. Okay, here's the charger. This thing has like the same charger as my scooter charger. Everything is zip tied in this thing. Block of foam. I doubt anything's in it. That's weird. I've never seen that before. Another block of foam. Pressure and put behind it, and these things won't cut. There it goes. Now for the thicker one. Screw it. The pipes, and they are made of metal. I figured they'd be made out of plastic. Nice surprise. Oh, and this is the desk chair that I was going to use on that bike that I'm building, which is right now covered. There's the bars. Alright, you guys pretty much get the idea. Um, I'll take some pics once I get out of this. Uh, once I get it out. Okay, um, I just figured that I would include this in my video. Here's the box. I just got it out just now. I just, I thought that was kind of weird. How they put my forks. There's one on each side. I thought that was kind of odd. Let me tell you, this bike is heavy. Because I had to get it out of that box by myself. That was a pain in the ass. But I just thought I should include that. And I might leave that on. Or maybe even take a picture of it. I like that little circle thing. Looks cool.
Okay, there it is. I got the pipes and everything put together. And it's compared to the original size that came in that box. There's the engine. There's the on-off switch on the engine. Just the top one. Bottom one's a fuse. There's the pipes again. Here is the throttle. It has an on-off switch. I mean, it has an off switch built into the brake, so it'll cut power anytime I pull the brake. It's a safety feature. I read it. I read about that in the book. I didn't even know that until I looked. Um, there's the engine, which is also removable very easily. There's the charger port for the engine or batteries, whatever you call. This bike came with those chain tensioners that click eyes and if this bike runs smooth enough I might take them off this bike and put them on that stingray. Also what I found out is this stingray is one size up. This is a 20 inch. That bike is a 16 inch. So I don't even know what the hell the little kid bikes are. Because I mean even just looking at it through the tape that bike is a lot smaller than this bike. I tried putting the front forks on this bike onto my old Stinger, with the flat right now on the back, but the front forks are three inches longer, so I still have no front brakes on my Stinger with the motor that'll probably do circles around this bike. Um, the last thing I want to show you guys is this quick release for the engine. I don't have it screwed in all the way, but all you do is unscrew it, you take that out, you unplug that plug which isn't plugged in right now, and once I open it all the way, I'll zoom out here, the engine just slips out. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. This thing definitely isn't light. Then you do the same thing just to get it back in. You plug it into the back, into the chart, into the motor port, which is right there. Sort of like a PC port. And you just swing this shut. This little door thing right here. Then you screw it into that hole. With this, no tools at all. It's kind of hard to do through camera. And even without this huge ass motor, this bike weighs way more than that bike. And that bike has an engine on it. I mean, even without the batteries, I could probably lift that bike over my head before I could do it with this. This bike is heavy. So, there it is.